So many outstanding coaches, outstanding players, folks that you admire, followed their career. That's really just unbelievable. So, uh, I, uh, really, it's overwhelming. I would like to thank uh, Francis Hazlett, Johnny Hazlett for the nomination. I'd like to congratulate the other coaches. Outstanding accomplishments. There are a number of people I would like to acknowledge, especially my family, uh, my sister, uh, of course, Green Lucy, my nephew, Tom. I appreciate y'all coming. My wife, Judy, uh, 43 years as a coach of uh, That's an awful sacrifice, but <laughs> really, all the time and, and all the Listening to all the problems and all the ups and downs. I mean, uh, she's really been special, and, and uh, I can't thank her enough. Now, some of my support, when my boys were young, they weren't allowed to cry on game day. We couldn't have any disruption. Now, that's, that's pretty special. <laughs> And she was known to coach a little bit from time to time, not that I always listen. And I'll tell you that the, if you want pressure, every time we had a big game, she said, if you lose, don't come home. That's, uh, that, that's how you win 84%, folks. Uh, <laughs> But my two sons, uh, Jared and Brandon, uh, these guys, they they started, well, they've been with me, you know, been involved with Lehigh basketball all their life, but they started out as ball boards and managers. Uh, they did stats, they filmed games, they scouted, uh, they coached, I mean, whatever, you know, and, and it's really, uh, it's been so great to have family involved. Did. Now, Jared played at, uh, at Lehigh. He coached the JVs for 11 years. He was a uh, varsity assistant for nine, and he took over when I retired uh, four years ago, and he's won the conference championship for three other four years. So he's doing very well. Uh, my son, Brandon, uh, along with all the other things that I mentioned that he He's one of those guys that, you know, needs something done, he, he would get it done for him. But his main job was security. Okay? Now, Brandon's a big guy. He's a big guy. And after the games, he would escort me off the floor as quick as he could, get to the locker room away from those high rates. Fans, so I do appreciate. It. As I said, really, it's uh, it's so it's so special to have your family involved and and uh, the support. And I just can't thank them enough. Had a coach asked me once, said, "Well, how do you keep it going for all those years?" I said, "Well, you get you some good players, get you some good help. Watch out." Uh, I was very fortunate. I had some outstanding players, coaches, outstanding teams, and uh, coaches that were really loyal. And that's so important. You involved in coaching, you know, you've got to have everybody uh, uh, working for the same goal. And I was very fortunate there. And I thank those teams for uh, all the great moments and, and all the opportunities they provided for me and my family. Especially the uh, that group that were on the uh, eighty-five games. That was uh, that was pretty exciting. Pretty cool. I grew up in Bassett Forks, Virginia. Not a lot going on in Bassett Forks, Virginia. Right? 
or nothing. So I play ball. That's all I do, play ball. My, uh, my parents, I mean, they were great. They didn't give me any chores to do or anything. They just let me play ball. And, uh, and I know they would be proud tonight. My first goal, I took a coat and I tried to make it rain. Try that sometimes. It's not easy to do, okay? I nailed it to a pine tree. I had no backboard, and it wasn't very high because I wasn't very tall. And I took a little rubber kit ball and I shot at my coat hanger up. And I probably invented the first breakaway rim. I just didn't know it. There was a lot of there was a lot of play when that ball hit hit, hit that coat hanger. And then my dad, my fourth grade, my dad had someone make a goal. Back then you didn't go to Walmart and <laughs> buy a goal. Wooden pole, wooden backboard, dig a hole, drop it in, and hope it's close to 10 feet. But he did one better. He had, he built, he had someone make two goals. I've got a cross school, fourth grade. I love that. I've got a cross school. The only problem had no place to put it. Uh, so we we had a little field down back, and so we put them in the field. And the field had some old scrubby pine trees and fruit straw and all types of vegetation. So to get from one end to the other, it definitely improved the ball handling skills. All right. <laughs> well, I had a chance to play basketball then at uh, Bass High School under uh, Coach Jim Akers, excellent. Uh, I played at Bridgewater College under Dr. Danny Geyser and Shifty Myers. And I appreciate uh, all that those guys uh, taught me and did for me. From Bridgewater, I went to, got a job, uh, graduated from Bridgewater, got a job in Stanton City Schools. And after the second year, I was named the head coach. And there are a couple of gentlemen here tonight that uh, were responsible for that and really showed a lot of confidence in me to give me the job at that point. Uh, and uh, Charlie Kirks, who was the principal uh, at Lehigh at the time, in fact, Mike was his son in law. And uh, Gilmer Botkin, who was the AD. And, uh, I thank those guys for, for giving me that opportunity. That was 1968. Uh, that time we played like 16, 18 games. The superintendent of schools, Mr. T.C., explained that basketball is important to the people who can stand. If you can win 11, 12, 13 games a year, you can stay there on your own. <laughs> so my first team won 11 games. And I stayed for three years. <laughs> but really, you know, for somebody who loved basketball, you know, I had an opportunity to be involved with it all my life. That's, that's pretty special. It's pretty special. And, you know, it's a long way from Bassett Forbes shooting at the coat maker with Virginia Schools. Oh, I'll tell you, I'm not really good. Thank you so much.